Um, we got together in 94. Uh, we played our first show uh, at Scarlet's in Bethlehem. Um, and we played for about five years. I guess we split up in 99. And then we just played this past year for the first time since then. We played a show in Lansdale. Lansdale. Definitely dysphoria. I mean, we, you know, we played almost every show with them, especially in the beginning. Um, but for years, we always played at like uh, in Bethlehem, Allentown, East Stroudsburg, you know, all over. And it wasn't, I don't know, maybe two, three years into it that we actually started playing in Lansdale. I remember the first time we had a show in Lansdale. It was like a big deal to actually play right down the street instead of, you know, driving an hour or two just to play a show. Um, oh, it was us, Dysphoria, uh, 13 PFP, uh, Inkling. Um, those were those were like the, the main ones we we played with a lot back then. And there was we would play at like the Knights of Columbus. There was this place called uh, Celebrations. Was that, was that what the place was called? Sure. Yeah. Celebrations. Saints. <laughs> huh? Saints. Yeah, it was basically halls. You know, you bounce from one hall to the next until you know, one was sicky, and then you went to the next one and. Just kind of bounced around. I think there was, there was a couple. We were doing the American Legion too here and there, but I mean, just just having a place in town in itself was a, a big feat for everyone because we never we never really had it. Uh, my back up. You brought up Scarlet's. Uh, sure. Tell us about that place. <laughs> the guy with the tickets, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you'd have to you'd have to go there and pick up your tickets and and. In the beginning, we were still in high school, so you know he had the, you know, ease of selling tickets there, and he'd come in and, and square up your money right away and deal with all that kind of crap. But uh, we played with a lot of cool bands there. We played with Crutch there. We were supposed to play with VOD like two or three times that they were never there. Um, so, but that was, I mean, that was the beginning. That's that was like the place. And then, when, you know, as we finally started to find other places, we realized we have to deal with those guys and all the headaches involved in playing there. But um, it was a lot of fun. It was fun. I mean, we would go up there to see bands, you know, whether we were playing or not. And definitely was uh, something I'll never forget. The one, the one night it was it was snowing, and and we had a huge, huge snowball fight in that parking lot. It was it was amazing. But that was one of those places that was, you know, it was a big travel, but. There's always good shows up there. Uh, do you have any particular Vince, the owner, or his uh, family story? Because everyone seemed to have one. No, I really yeah. don't. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I didn't have any issues up there. And yeah, Spanky's in their amazing staggered stage. The place was, was definitely weird. But uh, again, that was another place where it's like you, you traveled all the way up there. And, and you know even your friends would go all the way up there just, just to see the show because there was nowhere else to go. That was that was always tough. I really didn't play in Philly much till after Chime. I, I remember we played. I think we played at the Fire once. Um, probably the and we played it. We played at the Troc, but I mean that was always like a bullshit. You know, not a real Troc night. You know what I mean? That we, we got to play there. I mean, it was cool to be on that stage, but that was pretty much just the novelty of it itself. It was pretty much all that was. Um, and probably playing at the War Tour was like the biggest thing Philly that happened in Philly that that we had done. It's really no different than anything else. I mean, I went from playing those kind of shows to playing bar shows, and, and you, you'd see the same shit at bars, sometimes even worse, just because people are hammered and, and whatever. So I, I think, in general, the violence is, ev is everywhere. It really doesn't seem to matter, you know, whether it's that kind of show, a hip-hop show, bar band show. It, it's, it's bound to happen everywhere. There's definitely nothing really else like it. I mean, playing other kind of scenes, if you will, and stuff, when we, I didn't really realize it as much until we played again this year. And, you know, not only did I see, obviously, my friends and stuff come out, but the same people that I haven't seen since, like, 1999, they were there. And, and the way that those people really cared about it more so than anything else I did, you know, in between. Um, yeah, that, that was 
what was amazing about it was just it's like the one the one time that you feel like people really 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 gave a shit about what you were doing there was really nowhere else for us to go I mean we weren't we never like dubbed ourselves a hardcore band or you know branded ourselves that way but that that was who we that was who we played with and that was that was the scene that we were that we were in um, you know it was it, it definitely in hindsight like there was a lot of most most of the people didn't care that we weren't hardcore and weren't like we're hardcore we're hardcore and you know all that stuff I'm sure there were some that that didn't like us for whatever but especially like bands most of the bands that were like hardcore bands were always totally cool to us and didn't treat us any different than anybody else the biggest thing was how cool people were you know what I mean like that was the most important thing and and again I keep coming back to playing other going in other directions and playing shows I never really saw saw it to that degree of how respectful people were to each other I mean you mentioned the violence and things like that like yeah that goes on but I don't think there was the level of respect for each other in other you know 